Hi everyone, I'm Ali Graymond. I'm an OCD recovery coach with more than 10 years of experience helping people recover from OCD. Prior to that, I had severe OCD myself that I fully recovered from and as do my clients. So if you wonder, can you fully recover from OCD? Absolutely, yes, you can. Before we start, I just wanted to remind you that the OCD Help app is available through the Apple App Store. So if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. I will leave the link down below. Today, I wanted to talk to you about first stage of HOCD. So HOCD comes in, it can come in as a thought, as an image, as a sensation, as a feeling, as an urge, as a dream, it can come in in any way, but you get that prompt of something, something, and what if I'm gay? That's the, that's the first trigger. Then what, the, what happens? You react with a lot of fear. When you react with a lot of fear, you show your brain that this is important. If you show your brain that this is important, the thought comes in again. Now with automatic fear, you again react with fear as a response. So you react with fear to fear, cementing this process. And now your brain is flagging it as a thing. Ooh, this mean, must mean something. I must send this over and over again. And whether you are having HOCD or relationship OCD or harm OCD, it doesn't really matter. Any OCD works the same way, where the more you're reacting, the more it sends it to you. If you're worried about a red balloon, the more you're reacting, the more it sends it to you. Same with HOCD. It's not different than any other type. A lot of the times also, it backs, OCD backs it up with some insignificant past situation. So OCD will say, well, remember that one situation? Well, that one situation means that you're for sure gay. And again, you have to view this as a prompt. A prompt to get you into a reaction. It's basically a ruse to get you into rumination. Refuse reaction. It's a lie. It's a trick. Don't give in. Don't show fear. Don't ruminate. Don't allow yourself to ruminate. By the way, this is why I have the app. So you can track how much you ruminate and slowly reduce. Because that's what's powering up OCD. That's what's keeping it going. But in the first stage, it's very hard because the thoughts are coming in so strong and the person almost can't stop themselves from Googling, can't stop themselves from trying to figure it out. So this is what the first stage of HOCD looks like. It's basically the person is doing no ERP or, or maybe just starting to understand ERP, but not even really. They're just suffering uh, they're not in a position of power. They're completely in fear um, doing rumination. In the next video, we will talk about the second stage of HOCD. Please subscribe if you would like to book one-on-one -on -one session with me. All the information is on youhaveocd.com. You can book and set up an appointment right from there.